Are you hoping to grow your business? If so, keep watching. I'm going to give you my top five tips for you to grow your business. Before we get started, my name is Anita and I own FDS Creatives. I'm a video marketing and social media strategist, and I help business owners just like you get more visible through video marketing and content repurposing. If you're looking for a community where you can meet other like-minded business owners, go ahead and click the link below for video marketing for entrepreneurs. There, I dive into so many ways to help you grow your business and really help you leverage video in that business. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button if you like content that helps you grow your business. All right, here we go. My top five tips for growing your business. Now, when you're looking to grow your business, the first thing I want to say is that there is growth at every level, whether you're just getting started and you're hoping to um, get your first income going from like zero to your first thousand dollars, or if you're trying to grow your business to increase to like five to seven to 10K months or past that, you're looking to get to 20 to 30 to 100K months or even beyond. No matter where you're at, growth is important to track in your business. And for me, growth has happened every single year in multiple avenues. And I will be in business five years this June with this particular business, but I had another business prior to this that also grew every single year. So I have almost 10 years experience and I want to give you my five tips. All right, diving in. Tip number one, I want to encourage you to get visible. Now, I understand that you're going to see that all over the internet and people are telling you to get your business visible. And some of you might have tried to get visible and you thought, well, I posted on my personal Facebook or I made a post on Instagram and that didn't help my business. Consistent visibility is going to be important. And I would actually say that um, you can't be too loud. When I think back to when I first got started in the online space, I thought that many of the things that I was doing, interacting in groups and posting on my personal page and maybe posting on my business page we're going to help me to get visible. And really, if you want to create a big ripple, you need a big splash. And sometimes it can be difficult to do that unless you have a whole lot of dollars for ad spend. What I really focus on is organic marketing. And my clients are able to get that kind of ripple effect of people knowing who they are and what they do and how they serve. But we do that through varied content across different platforms. And yes, It involves video and content repurposing for my clients. And I would encourage that approach for you also. Right now in my business, visibility is a top priority. And this should always be a priority in your business, whether or not you've grown to the goals that you originally set out or not. You want to continue to market your business. You continue to have that momentum for growth. In my business, that looks like making three TikTok videos a day, at least one Instagram reel, at least one YouTube short, a post on LinkedIn, and a post on Facebook. I'm also pretty active in my Facebook stories. I also do one YouTube video a week. You're here for it. Could I improve this visibility? Absolutely. There's so many ways that you can continue to grow your visibility. This is just what I'm doing right now, and this is working for me. But if you're just getting started, what I would say is trying to show up every day on video, even if those videos are only 15 second long, video is going to be the fastest way for you to gain visibility. And using those videos on multiple platforms absolutely is going to help you. No matter how you do it, get visible. All right. Now, all of these are going to become much easier with tip number five. We're going to dive into tip number two. First. All right. There are five core functions of business. And the first lead generation we covered in point number one. Point number two is really lead nurturing. This is how people go from knowing who you are to then trusting you to purchase your product or service. And there's really two types of content. There's outreach content, which is really for those who are new to you and nurturing content. Those who have kind of understood your original premise, and they're looking for a deeper understanding. No matter what type of content you're creating, you want to serve with value. And I would argue, you actually can't out-serve. There's this idea that if I give away all of my 
secrets that then you won't need me. But the reality is that people are going to know that you can help them because you've helped them. And so as you're continuing to share and give value, people will be recognized to that. And that in itself stands out. People do not want fluff. They want real actionable help. So if you want to grow your business, serve. And I'll just add, I encourage you to serve with an open heart where you're not expecting anything in return. When you genuinely serve, the ripple effect that that creates in your business is incredible. Tip number three for growing your business, take intentional action daily. Now, new business owners who are trying to grow, they often believe the ideas that they just don't have time to do the things to grow their business. The reality is it doesn't take a lot of time to take intentional action. And I would say if you have at least 30 minutes a day to spend on your business, you can absolutely grow a successful business, but you need to show up for that 30 minutes, take consistent and effective action every single day. Now, when I say that, I'm not suggesting that you need to hustle your life away to grow your business, but I'm also not going to perpetuate this idea that when you're first getting started and getting to your first hundred thousand dollars in business, that there is not work involved. There is. But there are going to be seasons that require more intentional action for you to reach your goals. When you're building a new program, it's going to take you more time. When you're launching a new product, it's going to take more time. When you're navigating to figure out a new idea, it's going to take more time. When you're first implementing video into your business, at first, it's going to feel kind of clunky and awkward if you're not used to doing it. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to get comfortable. But if you keep at any of these efforts, it will be worth the investment, especially video. Tip number four for growing your business, believe you can. Our belief always precedes our behavior. If I believe drinking water is good for me, then I'm going to be intentional about trying to drink water. If I believe that I can run a marathon, I'm going to put on my tennis shoes and I'm going to start running and trying to get to that goal. And if you're somebody who struggles with belief, I encourage you to incorporate within your mind some questions that you can ask instead of thinking, this isn't going to work. I invite you to ask yourself, what would I need to do for my business to be successful? What actions would I need to take? What thoughts would I need to think? And there absolutely is a place in business for imperfect action. Don't let thinking and working on your belief stop you from actually moving forward, even in small ways. But as you continue to grow your belief, your business is going to grow. As you continue to grow what you believe is possible, you're going to take bigger action. And why belief matters so much is that clarity is going to be the key to action. So if you're not taking action, ask yourself, how can I get more clear about what I would like to do in my business? Or how can I get more clear about the actions I need to take? When you ask good questions, you get good answers. So I invite you to be curious about your business. Tip number five for growing your business. This one is absolutely my favorite. We're going to measure your belief based on results. Now there's people out there who will tell you, you can just sit and think the right thoughts and then you're going to have a great business. But the ones who actually have a great business, they think the right thoughts and then they take the right action. And belief and action lead to results. Results can be measured. And as somebody who is very analytical, I love looking at results. In fact, I only work with clients who want results. So the easiest result to look at is, are you making money. If you're pursuing a consistent action in your business for 90 days and you look at the effort of what you're doing, is it making money? If you decide to do a webinar in your business, did anyone buy? If you're getting on client calls and offering your services, what is your conversion rate? There's so many numbers that you can track in business. And I think when we get curious and really become a scientist in our own business, we can get so much information to help us see the results that we're getting. Now, here's what I'll also tell you. Some of my best results in business had nothing to do with my income. Just looking at the results of the last month, 
one of my clients went from zero sales to a fully booked out group program with 12 slots in just six months. This changed her life. When I look back in the last year, my business has grown significantly because I have grown as a business owner. And when I look back in the last four and a half years, it is so fun to look at the rate of growth. To give you an example, in 2020, my business for that year grew 25%, despite me working about 50% of the time that I worked the year before. So if I only looked at the income result, yes, I grew. But what was more amazing is that I was able to create more income and less time. When you're struggling with your belief, your results will be reflected. If you're approaching your business with this idea that this is not going to work or I'm not sure if it's going to work, that's going to come out and how you show up. I know my business is successful. I know in the next year that we are going to grow. And I know that the possibilities are endless. I'm committed to get results and I'm committed to do the work to make that happen. And I'm excited to track the results. Now, if you're watching this and you need some encouragement on how to proceed with your business on the tough days, I want you to watch the video I'm putting on the screen because listen, we all have tough days in business but commitment will get you everywhere. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.